not stepping out as a new you for the new year without dieting or exercise. Whether you're in the market for a new job, a career change, or perhaps even love, it's important to brand yourself well. Thankfully, this doesn't call for a makeover or a big marketing budget, but it is about presenting the best version of yourself right now. Sue Parker is a career and personal branding expert who joins us now from Melbourne. Welcome to you, Sue. Thanks for being with us. Um, now, you say it's an easy process to brand yourself well. What does it even mean to have a brand? A uh, good question. Good morning. A brand is basically sharing to the world your who, what, where, why, and who you are, what your values are, and what makes you unique, what sets you apart in a sea of competition and millions of other people is essentially what the brand element is, and it all starts from a marketing mindset. And so talk us through, uh, I guess, the steps uh, to success and, and your process uh, here, Sue, as you'd be advising people or, or perhaps clients to be yeah. best versions of themselves. And whether you and they apply actually to whether you're looking for a job, a new career, a new spouse, a new date, romance, whatever. And it starts from self-reflection and, and self-analysis, then taking a really strong reality check and really, you know, making sure rhetoric meets reality, having creativity in how you present yourself, creativity, so you don't sound like every Tom, Dick, Mary, Harry and millions of others, that, so you stand out, and courage. And that courage is really believing that you deserve joy and that you do believe, do believe that you jo enjoy meaningful relationships and a position and a job. How do you stop then looking manufactured and that you have tried to be all of these things and that you have followed a checklist? With that creativity. Yeah. Isn't authenticity if, more important than creativity? And also with the courage part, what if you just don't feel like you've got the courage? Well, it's interesting. That's a lot of questions there. So let me just talk about first um, the reality check. There's a line between optimism and delusion. And, you know, you when you self-assess yourself, you know who you are, right? You know, I'm not a skinny mini girl. So if I pretended and had a photo of, say, 20 years earlier when I was skinny, that's actually delusion, right? It's untrustworthy. And, you know, you really want to make sure that when you meet people, whether it be for dating or whether it be for a job, that what they expect to see is what's delivered. And that takes some courage too, because at the end of the day, you are unique. No one does what you do in the way you do it. You can't be everything to everybody. Not everyone's going to love you, and that's absolutely okay. And so courage comes from that last point, um, Monique. Courage comes from the fact that, you know, no one does and has what you do. And so be very, have pride about it. And pride is a big aspect. And courage, it's like motivation. You can't get motivated to do something. Once you start doing something, like applying for jobs, going online for dating, you get more confident in it. And so that's how confidence brings, which confidence in comes courage. Uh, thank you very much, Sue. Uh, an interesting chat. It's yeah. given me pause to think about my Twitter profile, uh, talking about being authentic. Uh, I was accused the other day of catfishing because it's about 10 years old. <laughs> so this segment has inspired me to be more courageous and update my, yeah. my and, profile picture. And so I also think that, that you know, anything that is putting positivity out in the world is a good thing and making people feel good about themselves. So good on you. Really interesting. Thank you, Sue. Coming up on Weekend Sunrise, it was one of the biggest TV 